Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another travel vlog series. So I usually do one of these once a year because me and my friend Sophie tend to do like a big kind of trip once a year. Last year it was Scotland which was incredible. There is a playlist on my channel if you want to go and watch those videos. I also went to Chesington and Falk Park the year before that and there's a vlog series on that too. This year we're actually going somewhere hot and sunny. We are going to Antalya in Turkey. It is currently September 8th. We leave tomorrow and our flight departs at 10 o'clock as long as it doesn't get delayed and I'm super excited we're spending two weeks out there. It's just going to be sun, sea, sand and a lot of reading and drinking and whatever else. I always love going away with my friend Sophie because it's just always a blast and we get along so well and she's practically like my sister. So I'm taking you along for the journey. I'm just starting this intro here because I have to leave early tomorrow morning and it's going to be dark and I won't have time to do it. I'm also in the process of doing a bunch of things right now. I'm currently uploading a video which I'm hoping is going to be uploaded before I want to go to sleep. There's like an hour and ten minutes so fingers crossed. Anyway I'm not sure when you'll be seeing this and when it will be uploaded but I'm super excited. We're just gonna we're gonna have a chill holiday. Last year was a lot. It was a lot. We were camping. We were doing something every day. This one's gonna be a bit more chill. We are gonna try and go on maybe an excursion. We're also gonna go and see some of the sites. I'm just super excited. This is actually my first time ever going all inclusive so it's going to be interesting to see what it's like we're also staying at what is supposedly a five star hotel it looks very swanky and i'm i'm super excited i can't wait this is my first abroad holiday since 2019 um we haven't actually gone abroad since the pandemic started so i'm i'm a little bit nervous i'm gonna admit like all day i felt really on edge and i feel like some of that is because i've had to try and pack everything and think of like last minute things that I need to do. I've had like videos to edit and upload and I've just been a little bit stressed and I did it to myself but it's fine. <laughs> anyway enjoy this vlog. I'll split it into parts. I don't know how many parts but enjoy them. <laughs> the woman of the hour. <laughs> oh I love your outfit. That's so cute. The outfit. I'll probably tie it up. You look way cuter than me. <laughs> I love that. Right. Oh, I'm jealous now. Let me be the man. Oh, it's very heavy. I apologise. Oh, it's heavy as mine. <laughs> I look like a mess. But we're going to the airport because we're going on holidays. Some last minute worries here from Sophie. <laughs> yeah, my intention was to use this travel bag as like extra storage on the way back but it's been yeah but you're gonna get rid of stuff from your suitcase right the books are gonna go i don't need that many vapes on the way back yeah no that's actually fine it's just packed really poorly <sighs> i'm not saying anything <laughs> we are now officially at the airport parking it took us ages to find space and now we've got a 30 minute walk <laughs> I'm over exaggerated, it's not that long, but like pulling my entire body weight in a suitcase. <laughs> we have had to park all the way at the back because there was literally no spaces. Section Q. But there, well, technically there are like little spaces, but people have parked really shit, so you can't get in because like spaces are tight. But we're going on holiday! On holiday! We're not staying in a tent this year and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> I get to be a lady of luxury. <laughs> The shower in hot water every night. This is how I was meant to live life, so yes. <laughs> the only thing missing <laughs> Yeah. The only thing missing is a guy feeding me grapes. I'm and fanning me. <laughs> oh, Going on all the day. Um we were delayed. Sorry. Presume. We were delayed for Presume. how long? An hour? Two, two hours? hours. Two hours. Almost. Yeah, two, yeah, hours. two hours. Why is it always us? <laughs> Not accusing retrograde bitches. That way. Ooh.
poodles are a bit vicious. Well, have you met you? <laughs> I'm more of an ankle buyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're on the coach. Yeah. It's, it's going to take like an hour. It's going to take an hour and a half. An hour and a half. <laughs> and not everybody is on the bus yet. And it's, I don't even know what time it is. No, I don't even. You've got your phone. It's dark. I know. My time's got UK time. Do you know what I thought? I thought, oh, when we get here, it's going to be light. It's going to be fine. Yeah, I thought it's going to be like seven. I mean, it's left now. It would have been. We got delayed. I haven't said this. We got delayed for like two hours. Oh no, I have said this, haven't I? I'm just repeating myself. Yeah, I did. Anyway, we'll update later. Goodbye. It's 10 past 10 in the evening. Um, because we had a delayed flight, we got here a little bit later than we wanted to. Oh my God, <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> just don't. So I think I mentioned this at the beginning, but we are staying at a five star resort. And honestly, we walked in and we know that this is the life that we were made for. I was made for this life. Where are the what? rich men that can give me this? It's a struggle because now we can't go back. <laughs> we can't, no, we have just agreed over dinner. A delicious dinner, by the way. They held mm. off for us because they were like, are you hungry? Oh, don't worry, we'll sort your dinner. We um, literally... This is it now for us. We walked through the door of the lottery. We got here a lot quicker than we thought because I assumed that we were going to be the last stop. We weren't. We were like, the, we were the second stop, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We were the second stop for the coach and literally as it pulled up so like a couple in front of us went ooh because it said like five star resort and spa we walk in through the lobby first of all it smells incredible we're staying i have to hope i've mentioned this we're staying at the paloma parisia hotel they have um two other sister hotels one's the foresta and one is the shiana and i think there's another one which was the one that i was going to book for us the first time because they didn't have single beds we walked in straight away let, let, let us take your suitcases they took our suitcases left them up to the side guy turns around to us he goes are you hungry and we're like yeah and he goes oh um dinner service is about to end like hurry hurry go 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 my friend's gonna show you where it is literally ran us to the restaurant and we were like the last people in there there was like another a couple of people finishing um but they let us stay in there and eat our food went back up to the reception and the guy was telling us everything. He thinks I'm a nurse, I'm not a nurse. He thinks I'm 14, I'm 29. <laughs> Which is an insult on me. Although, yeah. I, although I, must, you know, you were... I must look kind though, because I feel like nurses have to be quite kind. Honestly, now that he said it and I'm looking at you, you do look like a paediatric nurse. What do paediatric nurses do? Children, child nurses. Oh. I know you hate kids, but no, but it... fixing them, nice job. I actually, sort of. I hate, I like well-behaved children. Yeah. Like I'm not a horrible you person. Like you be, yeah, you, and I said, she would look good in scrubs. <laughs> yeah, in crocs. Crocs yeah. are so oh comfy. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yeah, so he was telling us about everything. He was really, really lovely. What was his name? Bora? Bora? Bora. 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 Um, Bora. 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 Yeah, his name is Bora. He was lovely. Um, and now we're waiting for our suitcases to arrive, which are they going to bring up? I'm not used to this. What is that? Can I pronounce? Uh, tin open. Stop it. I was just like, I looked in the mini fridge because look at this. I was going to take them on the tour, but all right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Too excited about the mini bar that's included in the hotel that they restocked. Yeah, the I've never had a mini bar I was that's like, included. Oh no, what about a bottle opener? Fear not, there's a bottle opener. I'm going to have to take you on a tour. So, <laughs> I was going to wait to do this until the morning, but I can't. So, there is the door. Then on the right hand side you have this bathroom and I do believe that they they have some of this hotel that hasn't been updated yet but we've got one of the updated rooms which I'm very excited about because we were kind of wondering whether we would get them or not. You've got our fancy dancy things there like little uh, body lotion, shower gel, hair conditioner, shampoo if you forget that, a shower cap. Uh, I don't know what that is. It might be a flannel. Not sure. Um, soap and cotton buds. Never had cotton buds, but I love that. Hair dryer. Us. When it focuses. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Towels. We have like toilet and a massive shower, which I'm... Oh, it's one of the ones on the things that you can just... I'm not a huge fan of rain rainforest shower things. No, I don't really like direct onto no, my head. Yeah, I think it's a female thing. I get my hair wet? Yeah, it's, it's a female thing. Mm. It's not what it's about. Then you have, thank you Sophie, in this drawer we have, you could win a brand new cupboard. <laughs> uh, yeah, we Wait, have a so bunch of storage space. You have a safe, which... <gasps> the slippers! <laughs> 
Wait, where the, do we, have we got robes? No. Oh, no robes. Big mirror. Some drawers. Some drawers. Extra storage. Uh, we've got two single beds, which is nice. I'm sure in other rooms they would put them together if we weren't like obviously staying as friends. Uh, you've seen the mini bar. We have a TV and they were roommates. <laughs> we have some like teas and stuff. I wonder if that's like Turkish tea. Do you know what oh, I mean? No, they have that in my holiday as oh, well. So it's not actually no, Turkish. It's just Turkish, like TT. Got some waters there if you want one of those. And then we've got a French balcony, which actually, I see, I thought when it said French balcony that it was going to be like, there wasn't going to be that little ledge. Yeah. Like I just thought it was going to be like, oh, that's our suitcases. Hang on. <laughs> um, so the lovely Zeki just brought up our bags. I've never had that before. Is that what they do at all five star resorts? Is they bring up your uh, suitcases? She's, she, she's deaf, so she can't hear me. Sorry? <laughs> you weren't that. Yeah. I said, is that what they do in all five-star resorts, is that they bring up your suitcases? I'm not used to that. No, I love this. Although, to be fair, I stayed, when I stayed at Marmaris in that dumpster dive hotel, they did bring up our suitcases then, I've to be fair. But I've never done that where I've gone to the room and then they brought them. Yeah. This is, like, beyond. This is, honestly, Paloma Parisia is going to get five stars from us so I've far. So I was telling you about the balcony before <laughs> the door went. So we've got a French balcony, which basically means that we don't really technically have a balcony to sit on. Oh, by the way, there's a sofa there and some chairs and a nice table actually. So we can still have like a nice little, you know, chat and all that. Um, now I, I was saying to Sophie, I didn't think that there would actually be a ledge here. Yeah. So there's actually space to stand, which is nice. And then over here, you have the pool. Uh, there's a hotel over there. I don't think that's our hotel. That's a different hotel, isn't it? The one over there. I'm assuming so. Doesn't yeah, I don't think that's part of ours. Mm -hmm. I swear it was lightning. The whole sky flashed. Oh yeah, yeah, I can right, see. It. Right yeah, yeah, bottom, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. Good morning, everyone. So it is officially full day one. Sophie didn't sleep overly well. I slept okay. Um, I haven't actually slept for that long to be fair. I've, I've been up a lot longer. So Sophie is in the bathroom. She's gonna get ready. Um, I think our plan for the day is just we're gonna chill because honestly we're just like really feeling it today because yesterday was such a long day. And obviously we got in a lot later than we expected to. Um, and I ended up with really bad cramps because, um, and I had this when I went to Florida in 2019. Um, because I hadn't really overly eaten a lot all day um, and then we got to the hotel and then we had like a little bit of food like I was cramping the whole flight and then after I had food I was cramping um, and I definitely have put it down to the amount that I eat or don't eat uh, during the day um, so thankfully I'm fine today it's kind of nice to see the outside now because uh, last night we couldn't really see anything. We knew we could see the pool, but we have actually got a sea view. Obviously, it would be better on a higher floor because you could probably see more, um, but we can still see the sea. We can hear the sea, and that's the important thing, and I'll show you. Anyway, I don't know what the plan is for food. Um, breakfast finishes at 10, so I've kind of put down that we was going to miss it today anyway. But yeah, I'll take you along for our little journey. Um, I don't know where we're gonna sit. We could easily just sit by the pool. Um, the towel situation, because, okay, for those of you who aren't from Europe, um, there's a massive thing, and I don't know if, I really don't think it happens in America, but in Europe, wherever you go, if there is a pool, people will literally, and I kid you not, they will wake up at stupid o'clock at, say like, I don't know, sometimes it's 3 a.m., sometimes it's 4 a.m., and they will go outside and they will put their towels on the loungers that they want. So, like, you know, if you've got a whole family of four, they'll put, like, four towels on four loungers so that by the time they get out there, they'll have their loungers for the day. And sometimes people do that and they don't even use them. They just leave their towels there. Um, and hotels are supposed to enforce the thing where they say, like, oh, if you haven't arrived after an hour it's considered lost or we're getting rid of it because you can't you know, reserve some beds uh, but people still do it and the hotels don't enforce it the situation here actually isn't bad from what we can see uh, the pool that we can see is like what i think is the main pool um and there were a couple of people so i woke up at 22 minutes past seven 
uh, and there were like a couple of people that had put their towels out for the morning and I'm assuming that they went to breakfast and I don't know if they've come back. So I don't think they've come back yet. There's like a couple that I could see moving an umbrella and there's like no one there, but they might be in the pool, I'm not sure. Um, but the situation isn't bad. Like me and Sophie could easily go down there now and sit by the pool and get a lounger. There are loungers as well that I can see uh, by the trees. Um, but obviously people want to sit by the pool, but there are loads on the beach, which I will show you. Uh, but yeah, the situation's not that bad, but if you're watching this and you're going to this hotel, please note that we are here in September and technically the kids in the UK have already gone back. We have seen a couple of kids that obviously are on holiday because parents would rather pay the fine than pay like for a really expensive holiday. But it is September 7th, uh, sorry, September 10th. So we're technically out of season and so I think the sunbed situation isn't too bad. Whereas if you came like during peak season, which for UK schools is usually, I think July and August, it's horrendous. Some of the reviews said that uh, like people were just taking over the loungers left, right and center. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Are you happy, Sophie? I'm so happy. <laughs> we're, on we're on holiday. So we're currently on the beach. I'm gonna try not to show anyone because that's kind of awkward. Um, but there are like loads of loungers here, like to the side of me. Uh, there's so many. So like, if you're staying here, don't even worry about it. I, um, I think by the pool, peak time, you're gonna struggle, but it's fine at the minute. There's still quite a lot there this morning though. Yeah, I, I was like, saying I that earlier. Season, but people were saying, oh, you know, seven o'clock, they're all gone. It's not peak season I think so. Peak season, struggle. Yeah, but like, cool. I think even peak season on the beach, you're fine. And if you don't have kids, don't travel peak season anyway. Like, just look at it. Yeah. <laughs> See it? Yeah, I can't. me not to completely laugh when I did this so this is this is how much the tiredness is set in so we've had a lovely day haven't we yes we've just basically been sunbathing and reading and we went in the ocean a lot loads which I'm very pleased about um but the tiredness is set in the sun has got to me I don't what have you done <laughs> right it's gonna be something so dumb isn't it <laughs> Um, I was enjoying my drink, right? And then... <laughs> Did you drink my drink? <laughs> I It's fine, it's all inclusive, you drink my drink, it's fine. I'm so sorry! No, it's fine. And literally, I came over here to get my drink, then I thought you've drank my fucking drink, haven't you? It's fine, it wasn't alcoholic, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> literally! I literally wish I was recording. Like this? I was literally, like, over here doing something. And then I just saw the glass, picked it up, I didn't even think about it. And then I like had like a massive like gulp. And I stood there and I was like, this doesn't taste like Fanta. Like I swear I I swear I had a coat. Oh she, sorry, I swear I had a She's had one cocktail. That's it's gone to her head. It's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like standing there and then there was like this much left. And then I was like, well I can't leave that now. So <laughs> Might as well drink the whole thing. <laughs> You're I was so like, funny. she's gonna end up coming out and be like, where's my drink going? Oh, <laughs> okay. So you have a mini fridge full of drinks that are included. <laughs> <laughs> As with every trip, there is an outfit of the day. This time, an outfit of the evening. This is my outfit. Cute. The, mm, the shoes don't really go. I mean, they go, but I need a, a different shade. Uh, and I decided not to buy a pair. Okay, so the dress is lace made. The shoes are Birkenstocks, and then I also have a bow in because she's extra. Sophie, out with the evening. <laughs> <laughs> um, dress is from Primark, nightwear edition. Lovely. Um, shoes are from my mum, they're probably Matalan. I imagine everything's from Matalan. Jewelry, Primark, Primark. Uh, I don't know where this one's from. And, that's oh. it. and she looks very pretty. So yes, we're going to have din dins. Question is. Will you help me film my TikTok? Of course I'll help you film TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> the people on the internet are like, oh my god, they're those people. 
you're you're that person. I'm yeah, but you don't judge me for it. So no, it's I fun. don't. I am the paparazzi. <laughs> paparazzi. I feel like that's one of our things from this trip. It is. Yeah. yeah. But you you started that one. I did. Yeah. Every trip we have like phrases or like songs or whatever. My one is ba -ba 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 from this SpongeBob. And she tried waking me up, or no, she said it as I came out of the shower this morning. Out of the shower. But I love that that's stuck in your brain because that's really annoying. It is annoying, yeah, you're right. I didn't do it on purpose, it just came into my head and then I decided to sing it out loud. Yes, I'm really enjoying that one being stuck in there. If she doesn't kill me before the holiday, then <laughs> we've won. I'll play it at your funeral. <laughs> it's, I don't, it's focused. Uh, yes, we'll see you when we see you. Goodbye. <laughs> Currently in bed. Um, Sophie, I feel like we've done this on every trip, so I feel like we're going to have to do it now. How would you rate the first full day of the trip? Oh, out of, what's the measurement scale are we doing out of 10? Yes. Oh, out of 10, I'd go a 9.5. Oh, that high. I go that high. This has been, <laughs> it's been really, really good. Can I rate that high? I don't, it's only the first day. Oh yeah, but we're only rating the first day. Yeah, to be fair. I mean, getting burnt probably takes a point off. <laughs> I like getting burned. Um, I mean, I will when it, like, I'm red, <laughs> as you can tell. And everyone else can tell I'm red, so it's not good. Uh, I'll give it, you know what? Yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it a seven. Oh, okay. Wow, um, <laughs> Okay, only because I didn't sleep as long as I wanted to. Oh, I slept like shit last night. Yeah. Time. But that's not only as well for myself. Oh yeah, it's the time difference because we're two hours ahead. Um, oh, also, geez. the pillow, which is a personal thing for me. I used to like pillows this high, and now I can't do it. I mean, I can, but it's just not as comfortable because I've got like a down one at home, so it feels like a hotel pillow. And this one's like just really puffy and stiff. And it points off for getting burnt, which is also a me thing. I love you. Oh yeah, to be fair, we're not going to experience, aren't we? Not just the, the place. Other than that, it's been really, it's been really good. Like, we haven't had a bad experience so far. I'd like to revise my answer to a nine. Okay, why? <laughs> because it was just too hot. <laughs> it was so hot and the, the salt water kept getting in my eye. Naturally, when you go in the ocean, things get in your eye. Yeah, naturally, when you're in the sun, you get burnt. Too shy. <laughs> I've been marking down for 30 shit like that. I'm marking it to a nine. Okay, because fair. Because the salt kicker, you can wait for something nine. <laughs> you that. can just dunk yourself under and it's fine. And it just splashes the tiniest bit and that's it. My eyeball's burning and falling out. <laughs> Your eyeball's not falling out. I mean, that's it, an over it exaggeration. Well. It felt like it was. Um, let's have a recap because Yes. Um, I, I haven't really updated <laughs> during the day because we haven't done much. So we woke up, uh, we missed breakfast. You woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have explained this part. I woke up uh, at 7.22, I waited two hours and then I was like, I need a shower. I got, <laughs> she's just staring at me. And I can sleep. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I'm gonna go have a shower, but I'm gonna tiptoe because I'm not an arsehole. Um, and this one is isn't... Oh, is this because you've had a drink? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I'm, I'm not an arsehole and this one's not a morning person. So I was like, I'm not gonna like purposefully wake her up. So had a shower and then when I came out, she was awake. Naturally, we start the day off with do, 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 do. <laughs> I st start the way that we win. No. <laughs> Words start the day the way we ended it. True. Because when you turn the light off, well, I was pretending to be asleep. Do, 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 do. I did do. Do, 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 do. So that's already the first thing of the holiday. You should be asleep. Um, that's because I'm counting. Which is very irritating. I, I, I really shouldn't have started this. It was your fault. There's no one to blame but yourself. Yeah, it is my fault. Um, and then what did we do? We went down and we went to the beach. Mm. Uh, which, oh no, I did sort of recap this because we did take a little clip, which I showed you. Uh, we read our books for the day. I still have not finished my Karen Slaughter book. This one finished hers. Yeah. Which it's... she started yesterday. I... Oh, thanks. Just so I can tell them what it was. No one cares. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> it's her 
fucking reading vlog sometimes. <laughs> no, um, this isn't a reading vlog. So, no, but the people who follow you do follow your reading vlogs. It's Sleepless <laughs> by Romy Hausman. Really good. It was on three for six pounds on from the works. Very good. Follows a woman called Nadja, who was committed of a cro committed. Oh dear. <laughs> convicted of a crime when she was younger that she may or may not have done and now is may or may not be being set up for another crime that she may or may not have done it's great really good i like that recap that was that was really um it, to be fair it sounded like a very good first it was vague af um i won't ever be reading it because now i know the whole plot but it was sounded like a very yeah i did book. tell you the whole thing sorry no it's fine um yeah i still haven't finished mine uh, and then we just did that for the whole day we got burnt we swam in the sea and then we came back up here got ready and dressed very lovely we, did. we got so many compliments from like staff first of all and also random people were just like uh, sophie said that she noticed everyone giving like us looks but like nice looks maybe you but yeah i yeah i had an extra dress oh i think i i did an outfit of the day they would have yeah. seen it yes um dinner was very good the food here exquisite like I haven't got a complaint. If you are a fussy person, you might find fault with it. But if you're someone who will eat anything and everything, you try new things, you'll be fine. If you're um, expected to come on holiday and eat beige English food, don't think about it. Um, but there's alternatives in the other restaurants, so just don't go to the main one. Um, and don't think yeah. about it because it's not their problem. And dessert was fantastic. She had cheese, which I don't think is normal. And then we had, oh, we had, we went down, we got some drinks from the bar, and we went to the beach because I wanted to be extra and film a TikTok. It's gonna be so which good. Which was fun. It was fun. And then we just had a chat on the beach, and then we came back, and she got another drink because alcoholic. It's gonna help me sleep, it's medicinal. Fair enough. And we think we got hit on. <laughs> oh, no, we definitely. <laughs> we definitely did. I mean,. It's a bit awkward now because he follows me on uh, Instagram. What if he sees this? <laughs> We're talking about you. <laughs> you know who you are. You, uh, we won't. We won't drop him in it because he might lose his job. Oh shit! Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it was all good fun though. Like it wasn't creepy. It no, was actually no, very it, sweet. It was very. It was very sweet. <laughs> it made our days. Oh, we came <laughs> because our key card wasn't working. So we had to go down to reception and be like, oh, excuse me, our key card wasn't working because we've got two. And we left one of them in the like the electric door bit that you use for the lights and stuff so that the aircon was on during the day. Just the last like, couple of hours while we went for dinner um, because we're electric conscious. Um, but just so the room wouldn't be too hot. Um, and then the, the key wasn't working. So we had to walk down to reception and be like, oh, the key's not working. And then he walked behind and was like, Oh hi, how can I help you? We're like, oh hello! Because he checked us in yesterday and it was very lovely. And um, so then he walked us up with the new key to make sure that it was working. Asked us for our Instagrams. <laughs> <laughs> and we came in and shut the door. And we were just silent. We were like, oh yeah, sure, like that's cool. Showed him our Instagram and stuff. And he just took a little picture of either of them so he could he, he could add us afterwards. And we came in and shut the door and waited a sufficient amount of time hang for on. to walk away before we lost our shit. No, hang on, I need to do a... a, a a rendition of this. A rendition. Hold, oh hold my god, yes. Hold the camera. Wait, I can't I can't see the screen. And the photographer. Oh, I was actually quite calm, but then <laughs> Sophie comes here, she turns around, and she goes <gasps> <laughs> Don't give away my excited dance. It was funny. And I I oh no, I won't drop you in it, but you have a happy dance when the week too. <laughs> Neurodivergence. <laughs> having a weird friend that I shouldn't be friends with. It is, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good day. We we really loved good. it, and we're gonna have another great day tomorrow. We are, but I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I'm probably gonna read. I'm not gonna finish this book. No, that's why I'm gonna go straight to sleep. Hopefully, I'm gonna read this book so I'm like dead tired, and I'll just sleep like you can like do a it. Corpse. You can read this book. I'm not gonna finish. I'm it. excited about your theories. I wanna know. You, uh, oh, this is the thing, you won't even tell me if I'm close. No, because I've been burning the book for you. I'm a good friend. This is true. But like, I've given you so many theories now. Yeah. And I just do this, I go, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I don't say yes or no, or, oh, good theory, Claire. I just go, hmm, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. But I've, give, I've given you so many theories that if you like, if, you, if I say, could you just say, 
like have I got hot on one like any of them you could just be like yeah you got hot do you really want me to I don't know <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't anyway you just lied to me anyway nobody knows that's the end of the uh, maybe I'll tell you in one of these vlogs whether I was right or not because I have a couple of different theories but I think I've settled on the teacher theory okay I think that's where I'm going hmm. yeah see <laughs> Good night. Good night, y'all. <laughs>